What's up everybody, Midwest Chief here. Today we're bringing you a very special video. Today we'll be bringing you how to play Gate Ruler. We're gonna go over the rules and then at the end it's gonna be a couple of turns to show you how a game flows. All right, let's get right into it. Let's start with the basics. There are three types of cards, rulers, units, and events. Let's go over each card type. We will be taking a look at Vampire Soldier Levon for an example. The number in the top left corner of the card is the card level. Under that, you shall see TD and OD. We will go over that soon. Here is the name of the card, and to the right of that is the attributes. Now, let's go over the three circles you see in the bottom left-hand part of the card. The three circles are red, blue, and green. Red represents the attack. Blue represents the HP. Green represents the strike. This card, for example, has an attack of two, an HP of two, and a strike of two. Now, in the bottom middle part is the effect of the unit, and under that is some lovely flavor text. Now that we went over units, let's take a look at events. We shall look at Absolute Barrier for an example of an event. As before, in the top left corner is the card's level. Under that, you shall see a red brick that says CNT. Put a pin in that. We'll go over that later. All the way at the bottom, ignoring the box that says CNT, put this in your cemetery, where you see use timing, is going to be the card's effect. To the right of that, once again, you see some lovely flavor text. To the top right corner, you will see the card's attributes. So far in the game, all event cards are sideways. Now that we have went over units and events, let's go over the final type of card, the ruler itself. This time, we should go over two different cards. We shall cover World Master Alpha 2020 and World Master Beta 2020. Let us take a look at the cards. We have three circles on the card at the left bottom corner. Yellow, red, and green. The yellow represents the ruler's life total. The red represents the ruler's attack. The green represents the ruler's strike. Now, if we go over into the bottom middle, you shall see game preparation, start of turn, and rule. These are going to determine what type of rule you have. An energy-based ruler or a drive-based ruler? Put a pin in that. Once again, we'll go over that just in a second. Let's go over these arrows you see on the border of each ruler. These red arrows point to the attack zones that the ruler can use. The blue arrow points to the defensive zone. The yellow arrow points to the event zones. All that will make sense once we go over the field layout. Now that we went over units, rulers, and events, Let's finally go over those bricks I was telling you that we'll go over in a little bit. We have CNT, OD, and TD to cover. Let us start with CNT. CNT stands for counter. Counters are a way to not die in a game of gate ruler. So let me explain what I'm talking about. When your ruler takes damage, you have to do a damage check. When you do a damage check, you're looking for a CNT, which is going to be the counter. If you hit a counter, you cancel that damage, and you heal. You only heal that part of the damage. So let's say you hit for three. First check, no counter. Second check, counter. You heal that part, and then you do whatever the counter effect is. Then third check, no counter. You have taken all your damage you need to take for that attack. Now, I do want to point out that CNTs are on the car, for example, um, Absolute Barrier. And they're also on other units in the game. So units and events can both have counters. All right, now let's go over TD. TD stands for Touchdown. Touchdown is when you play a car from your hand to the field. And then you do whatever the effect is. Very simple. Let's go over the final one, Overdrive. Overdrive is when you're using a drive base ruler and you reveal a card with OD and your drive checks for the turn. Before you can play that card to your field, you have to reveal it and do whatever the OD effect is. Then you can play that card to the field or you don't have to, you can let that card go to the discard. Or, I'm sorry, not the discard, the cemetery. Got to use the right terminology. Excuse me. All right. So, I have went over the, um, the three bricks. Now, let's move on to the field. 
Now let's go over a field layout. The center is the ruler zone. Above the ruler zone is the defensive zone. This is where a unit goes to defend. This zone is solid because the unit in this zone cannot attack. The zones to the side of the defensive zone are the attack zones. These are where units go if you wish for them to attack. Note, during your main phase, you can move the units around however you wish. So below the ruler is going to be the event zones. This is where you play events from your hand or from your drive or where you can set an event. To set an event means to place it face down. Below the event zone is the energy zones. These are where energies are placed. Only energy-based rulers need to worry about these. Drive-based rulers for the moment don't use this part of the zone. Over to the far left is going to be the damage zone. When you take your damage that sticks, that is where your damage is going to go. Once you have cards and your damage zone equal to your ruler's life total, you lose. Over here is going to be the deck zone. This is where your deck goes. Right under that is going to be the cemetery zone. This is where cards go when you're done using them. Over to the far right is going to be the fill zone. You see those extra squares down there because indicating that you can have more than one field on your board. Your limit is not three. That's just there. But you can have as many as you want. You can have like four fields on your board. If you manage to get four, you can have six, etc. etc. Um all right, so that's it for the field layout. Hello everyone, welcome to the uh, fight part of the tutorial. We're gonna go over the first few turns of a gate ruler match to kind of give y'all a demonstration of how everything's going. It's once again the Midwest Chief doing this, and I have my boy Chris next door. How's it going, fellas? Yes, yeah, Chris next door with us. And um so we're gonna be using different rulers for this. I'm gonna be using the one known as uh, World Master Beta. He is a ener oh, a energy based ruler. It's called resources in this game now. Cause before we go into his thing, I want to say one quick thing real quick. Today we just got the actual real demo deck. So yes, these are real cards we're using, and the names and stuff like that has changed. Like for example, I've been saying energies while explaining the rules to y'all. They're called resource in this game now. And um, so that's all I want to say. So I'm using the one, like I said, World Master Beta. This is the one that uses TD effects, so touchdown effects. And Chris is going to be using World Master Alpha. Yes, World Master Alpha is the one that does the two drives. So he doesn't start with a hand. Speaking of which, I get a starting hand of two. So um, Chris doesn't get a hand, but Chris does not have to pay for his things. I have to pay for my things. Um, but he gets the effects called overdrive. So anything with that OD um, effect I was telling you about earlier in the video. All right, and uh, we should roll dice. Who goes first? Right, Ten. Ten. All right, I should be going first. Now, I asked my friend Antoine. I don't, Antoine, I don't know if you watch these, but if you do, shout out to you over in Japan. I asked him, when drawing, do I draw my two cards going first or do I only draw one? He says we only draw one if we're the opening move of the turn. Besides that, we always draw two. So I'm going to draw the one for going first. I'm going to pay one, put Vampire Commando Levon. Don't know a lot of these names, so bear with me. In my center. He has the touchdown effect. Uh, what? Clear voice. So I look the top card of my deck. If I want to keep it there, I can. But I don't want to. I'm going to put a bomb on my deck. And I can actually swing on my opening turn. Any player can. But with only one unit. So I'm going to swing for three to Chris. All right. And I'll take three damage. First check. Counter. So I heal that point of damage. Second check. Third check. All right. And now it's Chris's turn. All right. I'll drive for two. And then I'll call. Oh, my God. Whew. So, to begin my attack phase, I'm going to swing with my sacred blade over here. To your defensive zone. So it's going to be, once again, it's going to be the red to the blue. So it'll be three to my two. That's going to be enough to kill him. So my defensive zone is now open for me to start taking direct damage. All right. 
Next thing, I'll swing with my Devourer of Time for two damage. All right, so I have nothing to block it, so first check, counter, and then the second check. All right, lastly, I'll swing my Ruler. Yes. First check, and the second check, and oh my god, and the third check, counter. All right, now, I'll pass my turn. So now it's my turn. I untap two, well, I'll untap up to two. I only have one to untap. Untap the ruler, and now I will draw two cards. I will set one. I will play this here. I will play Lamar here for one. Activating clairvoyance. I'll leave that right there. And then I'm going to attack you for two. All right. And I'll take it. First check. Second check. Now I shall attack you for three. All right. First check. Second check. Third check. All right. And it's your turn. All right. Stand, stand, stand. Mm-hmm. Drive two. All right. No overdrives happening, but I'll just go ahead and play my cards as usual. All right, first things first. I'm gonna swing my Devourer of Time to right. your defensive zone. This is where I activate my my card. So this has a, um, I call them immediate timings in the video, I think, but they're now they're called instant action timings. So I can activate this anytime I want to. So my Volatile Space Mimic. I'm going to deal one point of damage to one unit on the board. I'm going to deal one damage here so he dies. Yep, because he, he only has one health point. And before my thing takes any damage. All right. So now you made this harder for me. I'll swing three to your center. All right, so now I have one point of damage left. All right. And I'll swing for the remainder of this health. All right. And then I'll pass the turn. All right. And now we'll untap everything. But I think y'all kind of get the um, the premise of this game. You just keep going back and forth like that till a winner's determined. A winner's determined when you have enough cards in your damage. Like for my ruler is um, World Master Beta. So when I get nine cards in my damage, I lose. When he had got 11 cards in his damage, he loses. So you basically go back and forth till a winner's determined. And, um, all right. And um, I, I hope y'all have fun watching this video. Until next time. Have fun, gay rulers.